In this next video, we're going to create another triangle with specific requirements. This one has side length AB is 8, angle A is 30, and BC is 5. This is a little different than the last one we did. We have AB is a certain length, and we have angle A being 30 degrees, and BC is going to come from this direction over here. So let's look and see what happens when we create this triangle. Let's start with a line segment with given length. We're going to start over here. We want a length of 8. And again, we want to set A to be a specific number. We said angle A needed to be 30 degrees. So I'm going to choose angle with a given size. And again, we're going to click B and then A. And we're going to tell it we want it to be 30 degrees. And I want it to go counterclockwise so it's above the line. And just like before, we're going to use a line to connect points A and B prime so that we can see where that 30 degree angle leads. We're not sure where our 5 is going to go. And we're going to change that object property to be a yellow color so we know it's not the final part. Now I know that BC, what was my requirement? BC needed to be 5. So I'm going to put a circle with a center at B with a length of 5. And that's going to help me see center with a radius. So I'm going to click on B for my center and choose 5 for my radius. And now I know that that point where the circle and the line intersect is where my triangle is going to go. But something happened this time. This time, when we go to choose that point of intersection, there's a point here, but there's also a point here. So which one creates my triangle? Well, the answer is both of them. A, B is 8. A is 30. And both for, let's draw this line segment, both for B, C here and for B, D here, both of those segments, let's right click and, let's see, copy visual style. Let's put there. Oh dear. I'm going to have to right click and show their value. Let's see. Basic. Show the value. That one's 5. And now let's copy visual style. We'll click on the one that's 5 and not click on this one. Turns out they're both 5. What's F? And F is 8. So these requirements actually created two different triangles. So we cannot use these kind of requirements to prove triangles congruent because this one gave us two separate triangles. Notice that this is the angle that's not included in the two sides that were given. Angle B is the included angle for the fi sides 5 and 8. And A is the one that was given to us. We're going to look in class and see what else we got.